Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite mathematical objects, the Mobius band. For such a simple shape, one that can be made from a strip of paper and some tape, it has some amazing properties. We're going to talk about those properties and it's going to be an activity. So grab some paper, scissors, tape, a ruler, and some curiosity and we will talk about the magnificent Mobius band. Making a Mobius band is easy. You could take a piece of notebook paper like this, um, cut off a strip. Um, in my particular case, I cut off a one inch strip. It turns out that paper doesn't twist so well, so something that is um, significantly longer than it is wide will work better for these activities. So one inch seemed to work well for me. We can take um, a little strip of tape and we could roll it up like this, give it one half twist and join them together. And that's our Mobius band. Before we look at the properties of the Mobius band, let's look at a simpler shape, this shape here. So we did almost the same thing to make it, except we didn't put that half twist in it. Um, this shape um, we would call a cylinder. Um, a cylinder has the property that um, there's an outside and an inside, and there's two boundary circles. Right? So we set it this way, an inside, an outside, a top boundary circle, and a bottom boundary circle. Probably not too surprising. The Mobius band, on the other hand, um, it looks like it has two sides and two edges, but that's not actually the case. If we were to um, put an X on this side of the piece of paper and walk our way around, keeping track of where we are, then when we get back to the same location, we are on the opposite side of where the X is. And if we keep going around from there, then eventually we will come back to the X. And so unlike the cylinder, the Mobius band has one side. So um, if this was um, uh, an object that we wanted to paint, we could start painting this side. And as we moved our way around, we would eventually get back to this side, we keep painting, and eventually the whole thing would be painted. Um, it's not like the cylinder where we could paint the inside one color and the outside another color. So this is um, a famously one-sided object. Not only that, um, while the cylinder had two boundary curves, this shape has only one boundary curve. So again, let's mark off one of the boundaries here, and let's move our way along. So keep following that boundary, Keep following that boundary, keep following that boundary, keep following that boundary. And now we're back to here. And look, this is the opposite side of where we started from. And if we continued on like this, we would eventually get back to where we started from. So if we were to trace around with a marker, we would see that there is one boundary and not two. So not two like the cylinder. If we hold our Mobius band, you might think that there's a right side and a left side, but because of the way it twists around, the right-hand side goes around and becomes the left-hand side, and the left-hand side becomes the right-hand side. Um, so those terms aren't well-defined, but it does have a well-defined center line. There is, um, we could draw with our pencil a line that runs all the way around the center of the strip. And so in this activity, what I would like you to do is to take your scissors and cut along the center line of the Mobius band. So I want you to pause the video, and before you do any cutting, I want you to form some conjectures. Guess what's gonna happen? Uh, is it gonna split in two? Uh, if it splits in two, is it gonna produce two Mobius bands? Uh, what's gonna happen? So I'm not gonna give you any hints, but um, pause the video and cut your Mobius band in half. Okay, let's do this. Let's cut the Mobius band in half. So 
So what you should see is that we get not two loops, but uh, one long loop of paper. And you can see it has more than one twist. Um, it turns out that this is not a Mobius band. Um, if we were to make it, um, uh, if we were to roll it up and tape the ends together, it would be twisted four times, four half twists to put this together. That means that topologically, this is not a Mobius band, it is a cylinder. And actually, that's not too surprising if you think about it. Um, we have two edges instead of one. We have the original edge of the Mobius band. Remember, there was one edge, uh, and that's still one edge here. And then we have the edge that we get from cutting with our scissors. Um, and so what we end up with is a band that has two sides. We could paint one side black and the other side red um, and it has two edges. So this is a uh, cylinder with four half twists. There is one more cool thing to say about this before we move on. Uh, this is a double twisted cylinder and we got it from cutting a Mobius band in half. Um, and so one thing we could have done with, which was uh, rather than pulling it apart when we cut it, we could have slid one half over the other half, and then we would have gotten a Mobius band with the cylinder wrapped around it two times. Um, so we could take this and rewrap it, um, but I thought it might be more visually interesting to use this one. So this is a double twisted cylinder and so half of it is red and half of it is blue. Um, if I line it up like this, now the red one forms a Mobius band and the blue one forms a Mobius band. And if I'm careful here, I can get them to wrap up exactly like this. And you can see that the um, original twisted cylinder is now the Mobius band wrapped twice. And so it goes red and then the red turns into blue and it goes into blue like this. For the next activity, I wanna do something slightly different. Uh, we just cut down the center of the Mobius band and we saw that it turned into one cylinder that was twisted and twice as long. In this case, what I want you to do is to take your Mobius band and rather than cutting it at the center, pick a point one third of the way across the band and start cutting from there. So cut across one third of the way across. I'll even start it for you so you see what I mean. So if we start cutting it like right here. So one third of the way across. So start cutting it like that and see what happens. So again, I want you to pause the video, form some conjecture, see if you can figure out what's gonna happen uh, and then cut it yourself and see if your conjecture was right. Okay, let's see what happens when we cut our Mobius band one third of the way across. So start cutting here. And I want you to observe that when we get back to where we started from, well, because of the twisting, when we started one third from the right hand side, we get around to the starting point again, now we're still one third for, of the way from the right hand side, but what was the right hand side is now the left hand side. So we're gonna keep cutting. And when we make it all the way back to the beginning, we end up with one long twisted cylinder and inside that, wrapped up with it, linked with it, is a Mobius band that is one third as wide. So this is a cylinder and this is a Mobius band. For this activity, what I'd like you to do is to take your strip of paper, give it one half twist, that would be a Mobius band, a second half twist, and so that is a twisted cylinder. And I want you to cut it down the middle and see what you get. So just like before, I would like you to pause the video, 
form a conjecture, see if you can figure out what's going to happen, and then cut it. All right, let's see what happens. And what we get are two twisted cylinders, both interlocking like this, All right? They both have two edges and two sides, so they are cylinders but you can see that they are linked together. For this activity, I'd like you to take the strip of paper and twist it one half turn, two half turns, three half turns before taping them together. And so again, like the other ones, I want you to ask yourself, what is gonna happen if we cut this strip down the middle. So we'll pause the video, you can form your conjectures, and then cut it down the middle and see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. And you can see that what we get is a cylinder, but it is knotted. So it's one long twisted ribbon, um, but it has this knot in it here. And the cool thing is, is if you pull this knot tight, you actually get a pentagon here so we could Get this nice little decorative pentagon here on your twisted cylinder. I hope you've enjoyed this Mobius band activity, but I also hope that this is just the beginning. I encourage you to go explore variations. Try giving it a different number of twists. Try cutting it in different ways. Try decorating it, or even Try looping it through a ring before you do any cutting. But whatever you do, keep asking questions. Keep making conjectures. Keep asking why. With time, you too are going to love this most magnificent Mobius band.